I'm really good. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a really nice, happy, calm place. Yeah. And, and obviously your son Caban, gorgeous, we yeah. saw him there, has had a lot to do with that. Yeah, yeah. Motherhood just kind of changed you. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it, being a mum? <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. quite yeah. prepared, yeah. 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 But, yeah, it's amazing. He's, he's my best friend, honestly. It's just us two, a little yeah. pair. He's amazing. But I do want to take you back because you've talked about um, that you did go to rehab. Yeah. Um, and you were there for quite a long time. Yeah, I was there for a long time. And so, I what, spent six Christmas months? there. No, not six no, not months. Six. It was a few months. Two it was months. like... Eight weeks over, probably, yeah. Um, a lot of people talk about the light bulb moment. You know, I knew then when I was, you know, stealing a bottle of vodka or I knew when I was, you know, not picking my son up when I should have done. Did you have a light bulb moment or did somebody else say to you, you need to get help? No, I did. And I think you can only really do it yourself. You know, people can tell you. People were telling me for ages and I didn't want to hear it. And I had to get to the point where I didn't want to do it anymore. And I physically, I just gave up the fight. I could not. Do it another day. It was tiring, you know. Were you drinking every day? Yeah, I was drinking. At the, at the end, I was drinking every day and it was... And how much? Um, probably, a, oh, a lot. A mm -hmm. lot. Probably about three bottles of wine in the morning. Wow. Yeah, wow. like, wow. yeah, yeah. Three bottles? Yeah. I was so, like, with the... Because I got um, told I had trauma and post-traumatic stress when I got to mm. rehab. And I was having panic attacks and my anxiety and I literally with it, all the trauma and everything that happened to me, I, I couldn't face it. And I was having night terror, so I was using it to go to sleep because I couldn't sleep. Mm. And then I couldn't face, like... I was just in so much pain. And then I had to realise that that worked for a while. Like, that did block the pain for a while mm. up until a point. But then it starts to take... It's a vicious and circle, take isn't it? And take, and in the end, it was just... I couldn't so cope did you, it. So did you say, right, I need help? Or did your mum, or did somebody... No, I, I said to my mum and my auntie, I actually remember the day they, they came round and I was sat on the stairs and I was, like, skin and bone and I was just so traumatised and just... Bro I was broken. I was, like, mm. broken in every way. And I just... I was scared to say it because I thought they were going to go, what, the, you know... Mm. And but I was like... you had a baby, I guess. Yeah. That's why you didn't want to... I wanted to... But I didn't want to live. That's why I was drinking, because I felt like... Th this is it, right, I... I wanted to die, so I didn't want to live anymore, but I felt like... I, I did try to kill myself, but then when I thought about doing it again, it was, like, scary, the actual real thought. I think, well, I'm going to leave him, and it's not fair to leave him without a mum and Is dad. Is that what you mean about him saving you? Really? Yeah, yeah, because I was so suicidal. I just kept trying to kill myself. Do you it was have just... fear that your child might be taken away from you? No, because my mum and my family have always been really yeah. supportive, yeah. and obviously it wasn't out of choice, do you know what I mean? I was... It's an illness, and, and, and it ended up just being my master, and I was broken. But when I said I wanted to go to rehab, my mum and my auntie just cried, and they were like, we're going to get our staff back, yeah, we're going to yeah. get her back. Yeah. Because so, I didn't understand what was happening. So when you went to rehab, because we hear a lot of people saying, I went to rehab, what actually happened in rehab? What happened to you? What did you have to go through? So it's like, basically, they smashed me down until... I was nothing to bring myself back up again and rebuild myself. I had no self-worth. Obviously, I was in a domestic violence relationship, so the things I allowed to myself, it's because I had no boundaries and things like that I learned about myself. Did um, they take the drink away straight away? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you can't I, take it in there. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't know whether they you, knew it you off, bit, yeah, 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 they put you on medication and what helps and you have intense therapy. And I did, like, rewind therapy for the trauma... Because I went through a lot of traumatic situations that obviously weren't in the press and stuff and... And, and they helped me come out of that. And, and even little things I remind myself with today, like, if I get anxiety, anxiety is fear, so that's, like, false evidence appearing real. So, like, I tell myself, well, that's not real at all. And I've just got all different coping mechanisms Ooh, now, right. and I'm so glad because... Yeah. So is the first... Do you, today. do you think the first part of rehab is painful because they're yeah. making you face everything? Yeah, it is. Without the alcohol? Well, yeah, because that's it. Face I'll, the it, truth. You've got to face it, mm. finally. You've got to face all them... Basically, being an alcoholic and in addiction, you find your emotions hard to deal with. Yeah. Like, we're overwhelming, especially the circumstances I was in. And it was having to finally face them and accept what had happened to me. Mm. I think, because to me, I've always had such a lovely family and everything, mm. it was... It was worlds apart what I went through from what I was used to. Yeah. I've well, never you, you've had a very anything. supportive family, like you said. Yeah. Um, and now you've got a new partner, yes. um, Owen, yeah. from Warner, who's on Hollyoaks. Well, you went back to Hollyoaks, which is fantastic. Yeah. How's that been for it's you? It's been amazing. It's, yeah. I've done, like, a 360. I've gone all the way back. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he, he's wonderful. And tell he's us a wonderful. bit about Owen. What, what, why did he catch your eye? Why, why are you so happy together? He's just beautiful inside and out. Doesn't he bring you flowers every week? 
Yeah, he does. <gasps> he never lets them die, so he gets new flowers every week. Oh. Has he got an older brother? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I'll sort you out, Polly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, he, he, it's, it's nice to know what real love is. Mm. And it just puts everything into... Yeah. He's amazing. What about um, going back? To Hollyoaks, because there was a time, of course, where where you had got quite a reputation for not behaving well on set or being late, obviously because you weren't very well. Yeah. Um, so, what were people expecting? Do you think when you came back, were you nervous about going back? No, because I think obviously in my my industry, a lot of things were put in the press that wasn't true about me. They all know me there. I grew up with them. I am a really good actress. I yeah. can say that. And mm -hmm. Brian's been amazing. And even all the camera crew, because I grew up with all them, like Gary said and all that, they were, like, crying when I came back, because oh, nice. I'm doing what I'm good at again, and, yeah. and, and I'm back, I'm happy. I feel like you're in a happy place. Yeah. Yeah. It's the rule now, when, when you've been an alcoholic, that you cannot have one drop. No. It's like being Boys allergic to nuts. Yes, like, yes, you yes, just yes. don't have them because yeah, I'm allergic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we're so pleased to see you looking so well yes. and so happy and that you're a good place in yeah. your you life. You do look really and, healthy. Really, um, really I mean, you well. can continue to see Stephanie on oh. Hollyoaks.